Good morning. It is Monday morning, November 28th. It is currently around 6.45 in the morning and we're making changes to our program. So we are in week two of half marathon training. So we have a 15 minute recovery run today just to push lactic acid around, just kind of help the body start to recover a little bit more, get ready for the week that's coming up. But we're making changes to the strength training program. I know I was supposed to be starting week six of lift four and I'm not doing that. And I'll explain why a little bit later, but let me get this run in so I can get situated, help Gigi get off to school because it is her first day back after the last week's Thanksgiving break. And we're gonna go from there, but. I got a 15 minute recovery run, which means it's gonna be a zone one to two kind of run. So it's probably gonna be close to like 10.30, uh, 10.40 per uh, minutes per mile. But again, that's the point of today is just a 15 minute recovery to recover from the weekend. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, 15 minutes done. Put it up on the screen for proof. Uh, average mile time was 10.58 per mile. Not a bad run. My heart rate didn't hit. I think my average heart was like 126. Nice, slow run. And I'll talk to you about in a minute, <clears throat> once I get everything situated at the house and Gigi's up and ready for school, I'll talk to you about why the plan starts, why I think the plan starts every Monday with a 15 minute recovery run. And then going forward, all, all the workouts that we got for the rest of the week. Also, like I said, we're making changes to the strain training plan. We're gonna do that a little bit later. But right now, let me go ahead and get situated back at the house. I gotta put something on my stomach because, you know, protein synthesis and all. And yeah, we'll talk later. All right, so right now it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm actually uh, mid back and forth doing some work stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit the gym and work on this new strength training program. I will talk to you about it once I'm done recording. Well, not even recording, but I have to get it done because I have a meeting at 12. So I'm gonna go in there. It's a quick <clears throat> strength training workout and then I'll go over the basic idea of the plan and why I'm using this plan instead of going continuing with lift four as I was previously. It's a really good story behind this one, at least for me. And uh, I'll get into that in a minute, but I wanna get the gym done because I have an hour. I don't think this workout's gonna take an hour. It's pretty quick today. It should be quick, pretty effective uh, and to the point, but I wanna get it done so I have enough time for this meeting. So enjoy the workout and then I'll talk to you about it afterwards. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. Lab on me going all the way For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste For the record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record Been a little too nice to y'all, now I got a up price for y'all Snake eyes on dice for y'all, shoulders on ice for y'all Frozen A6 all the hay, I won't get involved today Got lost in the ball and age I'm flipping the bars, I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the On record, off record, I still count wins when they got it On record, off record, I let them take advantage I was wallet on record, off record deals Tell them talk to Colin for the quote On record, off record, I still want the act, not the ghost Alright, so that was today's workout today It was a simple chest and tricep workout Now, the whole purpose behind today's workout <clears throat> And the next couple weeks of work, of strengthening workouts Is to build a base foundation of strength Okay, now Obviously, this isn't for me. I've had my base foundation of strength built for the last few weeks, months, years even. Um, what I'm doing with this is I wrote a program for hybrid athletes. And if you want to know how effective a program is, you have to test it yourself. So for the next 13 weeks, I'm going to be doing the program that I wrote for. And, and it's really designed around the, the need for strength and power. I don't know if this is gonna get me aesthetic results. Obviously, I'm gonna incorporate this into my running plan. I am gonna continue adding my cycling uh, and, and other cardio just to kind of keep myself from getting stagnant because it's not like a seven day a week program. It's, uh, I wanna say at max, it's four days a week strength training, which for a triathlete, for a runner, for any kind of endurance athlete, you don't need more than four days a week strength training because that's gonna take away from your runs and your bikes and your swims. So I'm doing three week, the first three weeks is about, about foundational building. Once we get into the next, the, the next phase of the workout, I'll talk about that. But yeah, this program, I wrote it for a runner, 
Okay, and what I'm doing is, again, as the, as the person, I have a couple people testing it, um, and I'll tell you why I wrote this program after my next meeting, which is in a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and freshen up for my meeting, and then I'll get into why I wrote a program for a runner or other hybrid athletes to begin with, and then I'll tell you, the per you know, who's testing it, why they're testing it, and what the ultimate goal is. All right, so let's talk about what I created the strength training for why I created it, and what my plan going forward is with it. <clears throat> so I had posted on my social media a couple weeks ago, so, uh, Facebook and Instagram, should I create my own strength training plan, get certified as a, as a uh, personal trainer, create my own strength training plan? Everybody resoundingly said, yes, I should. Cool. That's great and all, right? Well, I can write a program technically without being a, a personal trainer. However, it just validates my knowledge by having that certificate and really doesn't even quote unquote validate. It validates that I can study for a test that I understand the material lit, you know, put together. But again, I have stacks of magazines and muscle fitness. I've been in the, I've been working out for years. I kind of know a little bit and I'm still learning. I'm, I don't know everything. I don't have a degree in kinesiology and I haven't been doing this for 20 plus years, whatever, but I know what I need and I know what I want, and I know that there are a lot of personal trainers out there that are just giving out blanket programs for bodybuilding and physique competitors and stuff like that, and there's very few programs on the market right now, e online or whatever, where it's designed for endurance athletes, hybrid athletes, okay? Again, a lot of them, a lot of those that are pushing hybrid build plans, hybrid build plans, are essentially just posting bodybuilding and powerlifting workout workout plans, and they're saying because they run, they're hybrid athletes, okay? Now, that's not everybody, so don't come at me, uh, but it is a lot of people. So, after I posted that, my triathlon coach, Dom, reached out to me on text and said, yo, you should definitely get a certification and create your own strength training plan. But then he said something that kind of revisited a topic back from May when Dom and Helen before St. George had said, hey, you ever thought about coaching on our team for us? And I was like, all right, yeah, yes, I definitely want to coach, you know, be a coach. It's kind of what, why I got into the fitness game 15 years ago anyway, is I wanted to start building up into coaching people, right? Especially the last few years where I've been trying to coach football players in, at the local high school that my kid was at, uh, and just no football player was like, yeah, you, you, even though you know everything that we're, you, you've told, I've told football players as much information as I can in between games, in between quarters, in between halves, whatever, and what I'm saying, they can go back and look at it on film and be like, yo, you are absolutely right on this. They still don't think I know shit, and even though I was offering my services for free. So I said, yes, I, I will. Um, I had a plan in mind, a structure in mind that I was going for, and they offered me, they said, hey, we have one of our runners who needs a strength training plan. Do you want to write something for her? for her? Cool. Got a little background on the runner. Know who it is, right? And I went to work. I started building this plan, and it's I built this plan that's a little different from most plans that I've seen on the market. This is a three-phase approach, not uncommon, but this is a three-phase approach towards building a purpose. First phase is foundational, second phase is muscle and strength, third phase is power. Again, as the personal trainer and the designer of this program, not only do I have other people doing it, other triathletes, other runners, I'm gonna do it myself. So for the next 13 weeks, even though it's a 14 week program, the next 13, possibly 14 weeks, I am going to be doing this program as my strength training in addition to my running training. Okay, and I'm trying to set up a meeting this week with Dom and Helen about joining their team as the strength trainer. Because again, ultimately is what I want to do, so why not try to do it? Um, and if they, they approach me for, for the idea, can I really say no? So hopefully that's the plan going forward with what we want to do, um, with what I'm trying to do. You know, I got my run in for today, I've got my strength training. Uh, strength training, the plan was like 35, 40 minutes, roughly somewhere in there with, you know, moving the camera around. So it's it, timing wise, it fits perfectly into a an endurance athlete. You're not going super high volume. You're not going too little volume. You're right there in the middle. And today was chest and triceps and most runners and, and triathletes don't even know why they need to build their chest and triceps at all. Um, and it's really just more for balance out. I mean, you're not really using your chest in running and triathlon, but you are using your arm, your triceps. We're still building that, etc. It is what it is. Um, and that's the plan. My work for the day is done. I'm gonna go shower. I gotta go for a 30 minute walk later to finish up my, my 45 minutes outside workout. Cause I am still doing 75 hard. 
I'm probably restarting it again because Thanksgiving and the, the trip to Texas really screwed me up. Uh, I ended up gaining like seven pounds uh, going to Texas just from a lot of water weight. I've got most of it down. I still have a couple a couple pounds left to, to recover. And once I hit my pre-Texas weight, I'll feel much better. But I'm going to go for my third. I'm going to shower or go for my walk and then shower and then we'll wrap this video because it's gonna be a short one. I'm gonna try to keep them short going forward just cause with running and strength training, there's really not a whole lot going on right now. So yeah, let me go. Let's, I'll see you when I'm out for my walk. Okay, we're outside doing our last 30 minutes of our 45 minute outdoor activity. I am still trying to complete 75 hard. Like I said, it's gonna be really, really tough. And I told my group that if I can't stick to it over this vacation and uh, work trip over the next few weeks, then I'm just going to postpone my completing it until after the half marathon. When I know March, April, and May, I have no travel. But it is a gorgeous night. No clouds in the sky. It's cool temperatures. It's like in the 60s right now. It's not too bad. I am wearing a hoodie because I'm a little bitch. I get cold quick. Um, but I'm in shorts. Either way, so I did a thing today. Um, Training Peaks was having a Cyber Monday deal where if you sign up with a coach account, you get 30 day free trial. And if you use the right code, you can basically waive their $99 startup fee. So it's $19 a month to become a, to get a coach account on Training Peaks. Now again, I did this because Dom and Helen had asked me to become a coach on their team. And now it's looking like it's probably gonna happen because they're gonna add me as an assistant coach under their um, their account too. So I am, I'm a triathlon strength coach now, which is awesome because this off season really now, and now I really have to prove myself because, you know, if I'm gonna coach people and being stronger, I gotta get stronger too, so. It is what it is. So I'm gonna finish up my walk. I, I just started, but I'm gonna finish up now and uh, enjoy the rest of my evening. I think we're putting up the Christmas tree after dinner. Um, we didn't do that yet. We're gonna finish, Connie did most of the decorating, but Christmas tree's the biggest piece of it all. And then we get ready because in a month, where when we take down our Christmas stuff, we start clearing the house, we start decluttering everything so we can move this summer um you know we got things happening with the house pre-construction meeting coming up later this week and there's just so much that's going to happen and it's just going to happen so fast so yeah that's life this might be some changes to 2023's race schedule too just kind of had that thought yesterday and i'm thinking it might happen but i'll, I'll keep you in we will stay in the loop on that one. That one's not for sure yet, but it could be. Anyway, I'll show you the tree when it's up, and then we'll end this video.